Today's high watt soundbite is all about the vocoder. All right, in today's session, I wanna share how you can use a vocoder to thicken up the vocals in your mix. So I've got a session open that's very current. It's a mix that I just finished a couple months ago. And with respect to the artist, I'm not even gonna play the whole track or, the, or even the whole song. I'm just gonna solo a very specific part of the vocals and show you what it is I'm talking about. All right, so I've got this song open. Let's immediately jump right in and have a listen. I'm gonna play the vocals in the chorus without the, the vocoder, here they are. Wants to be ivory, lies, truth, lies, in but have another moving lines in space and time we feel it deep within each other and with vocoder but to be i read lies truth lies in but have another moving lines in space and time we feel it deep within each other isn't that beautiful let's listen to him all by themselves just for a sec Okay, that's a that's an awesome vocoder sound. I love it. It just sounds so big in the chorus. So how did I get there? Um, in this particular track, when I first started mixing this song, when I put the original bass line up, I knew I was going to need some more oomph from this track. So in a situation like that, I will typically just convert the audio to a MIDI track. If you don't have the tool to the tools or the palette to do that, uh, just recreate the, the melody track on a new MIDI track. Just just throw up a synth and and listen to the listen to the song and literally just recreate the melody on a new track. So in this case, I converted audio to MIDI so that I could re-trigger new bass sounds and it worked really, really well. I didn't even have to do any kind of tightening because the bass line was just a very simple like staccato 16th note. So I took that MIDI track when it came later on in the mix and I came up with this idea of, of, of a vocoder, didn't even hesitate. I'm like, I already have a, a source for it. So I just went to that bass track, duplicated it, created a new instrument and fed it all through my, my vocoder and everything. And here's a, here's a point, a, a little kind of thing that I'm going to throw out there. Vocoders, like I said earlier, can be one of the most unpredictive devices in my palette basically and because I don't know how to predict I love to just sit and fire randoms like like patches from a synth into the vocoder and with the you know the vocal feeding the formant and just listen to the output because sometimes the the last thing that you think would sound cool vocoded is the coolest thing in your mix play around with the vocoders but in this case it was a really simple idea I I've, I've you know like I say I duplicated that track here it is Let's listen to a really quite a thin string sound. This is just the source sound all by itself. So it's really nothing special. It actually sounds a little weird to be quite honest when, when you solo it, but in the track, it ends up making this beautiful, like really just makes the thing just sound so choral and beautiful. All right, check it out. Wants to be ivory, lies, truth, lies, in, but have another moving line. I'm going to play this again, just like that, and I'll turn the vocoder off, and then you'll seriously hear what's going on. Wants to be ivory, lies, truth, lies, in, but have another moving lines in space and time. We feel it. I mean, that is a beautiful sound. And literally, I didn't really do anything here. All I did is take the original artist's bass sound, converted it to MIDI, use that MIDI track to feed into a, 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 a virtual synth. The output of that virtual synth goes into the main stereo input of the vocoder. The lead vocal gets sent out of Pro Tools into the formant input of the vocoder. And you literally just dial it up and and, in the mix where I've got that vocoder, it's not jumping out and saying, I'm a vocoder. It's just really bringing a lot of richness to the vocal without really even giving away why. 
It's a really cool effect. I strongly recommend you get into a vocoder. Well, thank you for sitting in on today's session. And I encourage you to please leave a comment or by all means, share a topic that we can do a whole session on. And if you like today's session, please consider subscribing to my channel.